Mr. Mr. Ryan, are you right? So we are given an array of numbers, right? Uh, each move, you are allowed to pick a number and delete all the occurrence of it, right? So for example, if we pick a two, there are two twos, then we can remove them. So the question is that what's the minimum number of moves that uh, in order to reduce this array to half or less? Two. How? I mean, two. what number you pick? Uh, uh, three. Two. Two, uh, two moves, right? Or three moves? Uh, wait, wait. I mean, like. How two. many numbers? Five. Three. Uh, yeah. Three. Uh, five. Uh, two. Uh, three, five, and two. Yeah. First of all, how many numbers you make here? Um, How many 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay, we'll pick half and then the remaining is three numbers. So we only need two numbers, right? Got it? Yeah. Okay, so how would you solve this problem? I mean, normally, if we give it a, a number, how would you solve it? A counter. Yeah, we want a counter, so why are we counting the numbers? Why do we need uh, a counter? write them, the most the popular number. Where are the most popular? So we count the numbers, for example, here, three, how many times? Uh, four times. Uh, two, how many times? Uh, five, how many times? Two, two uh, three. Seven, how many times? One. Okay, so how would you pick the numbers? The, the most. So which numbers you pick? Three. Uh huh. Because this four is the largest, and the next one? Five. Uh, five. Yeah, okay. We're picking the numbers in such order that, the, you know, from the popularity. Yeah? We want to f pick the numbers that are most popular with the highest frequency. Uh, to the lowest frequency and now we need to check yeah because when we pick this, this number right we know that all the numbers is 10 numbers so we pick through four numbers now we pick four numbers it's not enough right it's not bigger than half right now we pick three numbers four plus three seven numbers it's more than half then we return two numbers right all right okay so counter yeah we can use the counter so counter is from this is from collections yeah collection Import counter. We know that already. Counter. Counter is basically a dictionary, right? Dictionary. If we can say D equals this dictionary, then we go through this number for i in numbers. This is the same thing, yeah? Di plus one, right? Right? All these three converted to D equals counter. Counter uh, numbers. Right? This is just a, a shortcut, a much better way to. Uh, make it simple, okay? We have this D. So we want to find out the most common. We want to get this part. So we have this function called D dot most common. We have this one. So what does it give us? It will give us this. A list of uh, three is four times. The second popular is five is three times. Two is two times. And seven is one time. Right? Right? So look, most popular. Right? Three appears four times. Five appears three times. Right? This is very convenient for us. Right? So, we can use this most common uh, by putting the numbers. If we put a two, then you will return top most popular, this number, the parameters. So, if we want to use this most common to get the least common, how would you do it? Which part is the least common? This is the most common. Uh... So, so, what do we do with the least common? If, for example, if we want do to get... the same thing and then do the least. No, there is no such function called least common, but we can use most common to get the least common. How would you do it? Come on, it's very simple. Least, right? most common, and uh, look, this is most common. So which parts divisor. are least common? Which parts are least common? Least common multiplier. Uh, May I? Mm, seven one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, this is a list, right? So least common, we just have to get it from the right part, right? For example, the least common one is the minus one, right? Right? Uh, actually minus one, right? So if I want to get oh, these two, we can do this. Uh, minus two to the n, and we reverse this part, right? Or we can use this uh, formula. Column minus n minus one, column minus one. This means that we want to get the 
last and element in a reverse order, right? Because this is the least common. This is the second least common, right? But the least, look, most common, just give this uh, in the order sequence. We have to reverse this one. Okay? This most common is very convenient. A equals, we have this D, right? The thing we, we need is just this one, right? We don't care about what value, am I right? It doesn't matter, right? This three changes to a million, doesn't matter. This five changes to a trillion, doesn't matter. The most important thing is the counter. The, how many times they appear, right? X for Y, Y, X in D dot items. Right? And then we can just sort this A dot sort. A dot sort. What, look, X is the number of times. Y is the key, the, the value in D dot items. And we can just A dot sort reverse equals. So because we want to pick the most frequent one. Okay? And once we have this A, okay, so let, let's put this in the A equal left. So for example, the answer equal at the beginning, we pick nothing. So for I in a, okay? Let's assume this A is the uh, most common is this bit, right? So about A equals, we want the least number, right? So it's Y for X, Y in D most common, right? And then A will be something like this. For A, then we add it, right? The number we pick, this is the 4, 3, 2, 1, right? In this case, the A will be 4, 3, 2, 1. It's a list 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we want to have a counter t equals zero. The total numbers we have picked t plus equals i. And answer we have picked one number. And if t plus t bigger than equal than the length of the order numbers, right? And then we just return answer. Okay, make sense? Look, yeah. A is a four three two one four three two one. Now we pick four numbers. We check. We pick one more one time. We pick. Four numbers, we check if it's more than half. Yeah. If, uh, this is not more than half, we keep picking. Pick three number. now we have picked seven numbers. So seven is more than half, right? Seven plus seven is bigger than ten. Then we do ten answer. In this case, it will be two. All right? The time complexity? Uh, it's a bit tricky, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 Very uh, close. Uh, Most oh. common. So. Uncommon. Why? Well, what's the complexity? Oh, and Logan. Oh, and Logan. Oh, and Logan. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Most common one. Okay. Uh, oh, come on. The space complexity. Obviously, we're using the uh, dictionary. So that's O1. We're using the dictionary. O N. If the numbers are within the range, right? If the numbers, for example, is uh, bigger than one and smaller than a hundred, is uh, there's a range. Then we can also use the bucket sort. We talk about the bucket sorting. Yeah? We have a, a hundred buckets, right? Then we can count how many times they appear, right? For example, three. Then we increment the three bucket one. So in this case, the numbers we have in the array are within the range. Well, then we can use the bucket sorting, and the time complexity can be improved over. Okay, so what have you learned today? Come on, what have you learned today? That's it. About... What have you learned? Come on, what's the problem? And what have you learned, Ellie? Uh, we, uh, the problem is we got these numbers and uh, to reduce array size to the whole. Yes, how do we... Uh, each, so how do we reduce it? I mean... Uh, use a counter. And then we have these numbers. Yeah, we have the numbers. At each time, we can pick a number, number and, and remove... And, what? And delete... All of it. Yeah, delete this delete. number of all of this occurrence, yeah, right? Delete. And then, yeah. and then, what do we need to do? Counter. We, what do we? Uh, what are we achieving here? Yeah. Uh, reducing the number of number of numbers by half. We so we'll, that we want to find out the minimum, right? Yeah, minimum. So how would you do this to achieve the minimum? Counter. Yeah, this is the approach, but how would you do it strategically? I mean, how, what's, a, uh, what's your approach? What's your approach? Dictionary? Why do we need a dictionary? For the, the same numbers. Yeah, to count the same numbers. How so, much they are. So which numbers would you pick? Uh, uh, three and the biggest. Five. So so what are three and five? The biggest. The What biggest? This is the number. This is the number uh, of times they appear. Most of the most of the numbers. There are 
I'm not doing this. We want to pick the numbers with the highest frequency. So every time we pick the number with the highest frequency, we remove it from the array, and then we pick the second highest frequency, uh, and then we remove it, right? Yeah. The time complexity is all and again because there's a sorting here, the most common and sort, right? That's all and again. And the space complexity is all and because we are using a dictionary. Okay. Let's see for today. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.